Yo, what's good, YouTube? Let's just get right into it today. Y'all came for the content, and I'm gonna deliver. So, the finals are starting tomorrow Suns versus Bucks. Giannis's health is still in question. I think he'll be back by game three at least, but he could be gone for this entire rest of the playoffs. But who knows? Could be ready by game one. It's all up in the air right now. But what we do know is is that the Bucks they really need to step up in these finals because they've either been inconsistent or just bad. Chris Middleton in these playoffs, he's had like three or four games where he just turns it on. He goes off. His shots are falling, but in other games, he just looks not good. Like, simply not good. It's not that he's taking bad shots. It's not about shot selection. It's not about how well he's being defended. He just fucks himself up. This dude defends himself in some of these moments. But when the lights shine brightest, I gotta admit, I gotta admit, in the late games of these series, Nets and Atlanta, He's shown up. He has shown up. Drew Holiday, he's looked like Eric Bledsoe in some moments. He just looks like Eric Bledsoe. Like, there's no other way to put it. He takes these dumbass side step back, uh, step back three pointers for no, for, for no reason. Why? You have Giannis and Chris Middleton and you still feel the need to do a shimmy shimmy ha step back and fucking break. Why? PJ Tucker, I think he's going to be a really good defender. He's going to be an X factor in the series depending on how well he defends Devin Booker. I think he's going to I think he's going to put a big dent in his numbers because Devin Booker's already been inconsistent because of the nose injury. But there's also a possibility that Devin Booker comes back and he's better than he's ever been in these playoffs. And he set a pretty high standard for that. So we'll just have to see if these matchups occur. Or it could just be Chris Middleton on him. I, I really don't know. I think uh, Bud, Coach Bud is going to have to put Giannis at center. Who really knows? Because Coach Bud has been known to not make adjustments. Very stubborn with how he plays his players. And he could just leave Brook Lopez out there to be a cone on defense. Because Chris Paul and Devin Booker with Brook Lopez drop covers. Oh, that's 30. That's 30 every game from at least one of them. Could be both of them. Who knows? But I think putting Giannis at center is probably going to fix that. And I think Chris Paul is going to be back. Like, back to his regular form. And possibly just as good as he was in the Denver series, man. Because he looked amazing in game six of the Clippers series. After he got, you know, the virus. He just wasn't performing as well. Had a bad shooting night. But then he got back into form. And showed up when the lights shine brightest. And that's really what matters. And whether it's on Twitter or just in real life. Like I was at a party and they were saying this. Bucks are not winning. I'm sorry. Even if Giannis was healthy. I don't think they could win. And here's why. Jay Crowder is going to be another X, the X factor for the Suns. PJ Tucker is for the Bucks. He's going to be similar in that role. Let's say that Coach Bud does play Giannis at the 5. Then you have DeAndre in, who is a great defender. He's not elite, but he's very good. And you have Jay Crowder and Mikel Bridges, who could give Giannis fits with his length. And he's also going to give Chris Middleton some fits. He is damn near an all-defensive member. This team all around, like, Chris Paul just put life into, like, just how Tom Thibodeau put life into the Knicks defense. Chris Paul did something similar. Obviously not to that standard because the Knicks were amazing on defense this year. But so were the Suns. But it's not all credit to Chris Paul. Mikael Bridges and Jay Crowder are amazing defenders. And Jay Crowder is a little bit underrated on that side because last year in the playoffs he was either a primary defender or one of the main defenders on some of the best big men in the league on that heat defense he was the bigger one the wall that stopped Giannis infamously and I don't think they're gonna be able to pull off same because the way that coach Spolstra held them together on that side of the ball that was just amazing and I don't think it could be replicated but it could be somewhat replicated not 100%, but I think they could really give Giannis some trouble. They're not going to stop Giannis or hold him if he does come back, but I think he's going to have a lot of problems, and I don't think he's ready. Like, Jay Crowder, Mikel Bridges, and DeAndre Ayton as a wall defense, I don't know, man. 
and even though Chris Paul's defense has gotten down with age, it's not like he's a bad one. It's steady, because if you're an elite defender and you fall off, you're probably still a good on that side, and Chris Paul still manages to be a positive on the defensive end at 36 years old, and that's just incredible. I've always hyped up this Phoenix Suns team, I've held them to very high standards throughout the year, and they're proving it. And I'm very proud of what they've done this year. To just conclude it a bit, I'm going to just say it. Suns are winning this if the Bucks are healthy or not. That, that's just my personal opinion. We'll see what happens. I could be completely wrong or I could just be right. But uh, hopefully this is a good final. Some of the other series, they weren't, they were let down, but they were still good because of role players stepping up. But this year has just been a shit show. Top to bottom, just a shit show. So I got Suns in five to six, probably six or seven actually. But with that being said, that's going to conclude the video. Thank you all for watching and like and subscribe for more content. Bye.